This simple automation is helping people earn $300 to $500 every single month from local businesses. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how they are doing it and how you can start in just a few minutes. You won't need to run ads, cold call, or become a tech wizard to pull this off. It's called speed to lead automation. Set up that instantly response to new leads on behalf of local businesses so that they never miss a potential customer again. Because the truth is businesses are busy. Sometimes when they're on break, or they just miss leads because they're out in the field. And what this automation does is bridge that gap so that the businesses don't lose that customer. Local businesses businesses are happily paying for this because it saves them a lot of time and prevents them from losing customers. If you enjoy these type of videos, then leave a like and send this to a friend that you could see starting a business with. I will leave a link at the end of this video that will also get you $8,000 worth of bonuses. In this video, it's going to be on what it is, how to set it up, and a simple script that you can use to sell this. All right, let's dive in and I'll show you exactly how to set up this entire system in just three steps. Just to break this down and show you what we're going to be building today, what we're going to do is create a form, link it to a pipeline, and link it to an automation so that we can do the things that I explained earlier or automatically. So the first step is to build a form. To do that, we're going to come over to sites in the bottom left, up to forms, and then we're going to click on add form. You can choose to start from scratch or choose from a template. For this instance, I'm just going to choose from a template. And I'm going to choose the simple one over here. Continue. Okay, so I'm going to leave these elements in over here and just remove the organization because I only want their name, their email, and their phone number. Okay, so I'm going to come up to the top here and just name it quickly with a really cool name and then click on save. Okay, yeah, so that was step one. The next step is to set up a pipeline. Pipeline is just a place where you can organize all your leads and see what stage of the sales process they are in. So to make one, just click on back up here, come down to opportunities, up to pipelines, and then I'm going to create a new pipeline. Now what we want to do is add stage names. These are the different columns that these can fall under. I'm going to add four simple ones, like new lead, requested a call, booked appointment, and finally client one. Then I'm going to click on save. I'm back to opportunities. And then with this down arrow, I want to make sure I've selected the one I just created. See now these stages have been created. And when a new lead comes in, depending on where we want the lead to go, it will populate under the respective column. Okay, so we finished step two. The third step is to set up an automation. This is where the magic happens and where we can create this speed to lead automation. To do that, come down to automation on the bottom left. Come up to create workflow. You can select a recipe. There's a pre-built template. Here you can choose one called the fast five which will reach out to the customer on five different channels for this instance i'm going to create one from scratch let's so start from scratch you give it a name at the top then i want to set the trigger the trigger is the thing that will start the automation once that criteria is met in this case we want it to be that when somebody fills out the form this automation will start so we're going to do that by clicking add new trigger and select the form i'm going to type in form submitted then add filter to select the form that we created there's my one and then i'm going to click on save trigger okay so if we want to send an sms or an email instantly then the first thing we'll do is create an sms or an email action if we want there to be like a 20 second wait from when the person submits that form until they receive the message then we want to add a wait step to do that click on the plus button type in wait and then add a wait time so in this case i'm just going to say one minute and then click on save action. Now, once the person submits the form, it's gonna wait one minute before continuing. Now we wanna send them an SMS and an email. I'm gonna click on the plus button again, type an SMS, click on send SMS. And all we have to do is type the message we want sent. In this case, I'm gonna say, hey, first name. And we can add a custom value here, which means that it will automatically pull from the name that they put into the form. So instead of saying, hey, friend, or hey, man, you can say, hey, person's actual name. So again, to do that, just click on this button over here. Come up to contact, and then contact's first name. And type the rest of your message like are you available for a quick call and then click on save action and then you'll see the sms has now been added after the sms action i'm going to add a wait action to say that after that sms has been sent wait until the reply or wait a couple minutes before moving on so i'm going to click on the plus type in wait and then say wait for scroll down to contact replied and say reply to the sms that we created and then toggle the timeout to be two minutes and click on save action now if you come down to the plus type in if else Click on it and then click on select to be contact replied is true. Enable the branch to be yes and click on save. Now what we're saying is we're waiting for a bit and we want to check if the contact replied. If they did, it's going to come down here. If they did not, it's going to come down here. If the customer did reply and they say they wanted a call from the team, then what we're going to add next is an opportunity action. So click on the plus button, type opportunity, and then click on this one over here. And we're going to select the pipeline that we previously created and test pipeline. Then select the stage we want the contact to fall under after they have replied. In this case, I want it to be requested a call. Then give the opportunity a name. If you want it to be the contact's name, click on this button here, click contact, and then click full name. Then click on save action. And make sure you click on publish and then save in the top right corner. And then to test the workflow, come up here and click on test workflow, select the contact, and then click on run test. And the contact response to that SMS will be taken down this route over here, which will then be to create an opportunity card under that correct pipeline stage. And now when I come back to my pipeline by going to opportunities, making sure I'm in the correct pipeline, 
you will see now under request a call, the Ben contact card has now been created. It's great because in the morning when the team comes, you can now see that this person is requesting a call. They've also been contacted so that they feel like they have been addressed. And they're not going to move on to your competitor. And if you want to sell this to local businesses, then I recommend using a very simple pitch that looks like this. You can send them a message, an email, go up to them in person, however you prefer. But it may be good to say something like, hey, the system guarantees your leads get a response within 60 seconds, even if you're asleep or in a meeting. It's like a 24-7 sales assistant, but without the cost. A good recommendation is to offer it for three days completely for free. And after those days, once they've seen the real value, then you can upsell them to $300 to $500 per month to keep it active. And that's the exact speed to lead automation that people are using to land $300 to $500 clients per month from local businesses without cold calling, without doing paid ads, and without needing any crazy tech background. If you have a business friend and you can see you adding this to your business offering, then share this with them and go build it. Make it yours, tweak it to your industry. And again, I'll leave a link down below that will give you $8,000 worth of free bonuses to help you get up and running even faster. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.